Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome from Glasgow for a brand new week of House of Games. I've got four brand new players. They're playing some brand new questions. At the end of the week, one of them is walking away with this, which unfortunately is not a brand new trophy. Who are our players this week? They are Jamali Maddox, <laughs> Jody Kidd, Susie Perry, and Hugh Fernley Whittingstall. Oh, hello, everyone. Hello, Jamali. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? I'm what's right. up? That's a good question. Through the week, I'll tell you what's up with me. But <laughs> look, let's focus on you for now. Uh -huh. Shall we? Your quizzer? No, no. I'm, I, honestly, it's surprising that I was booked for this show. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm genuinely the worst at quizzes. Like, oh, it's I'm it's terrible. Good. I suspect Jody's going to say the same thing, so I'm looking forward to this little battle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we should battle for bottom face. The battle for, battle battle for, for the wooden yeah. spoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jody, is that right? Not a, I'm, not a natural quizzer? No, highly dyslexic. Yeah. Um, just come out of a year of not using my brain at all. Gotcha. Um, and, you know, 40s. I mean, it's all, it's just all I hear. basic. Well, listen, I'm in my 50s. I, let me tell you, <laughs> it does not get better. No. I promise you that. No, don't I tell promise me you that. that. Uh, Susie, at the end of the week, someone wins the trophy, but at the end of every day, someone wins a daily prize. Shall we all take a look at today's daily prizes? Go on, then. OK, you could take home one of these if you win today. There is the House of Games golf umbrella, plant pot, the cricket bat, the reusable coffee cup, or the fondue set. And you can take your fancy more than the rest. I would go for the cricket bat, I think. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Would you? Yeah, yeah I like a bit of cricket. A little bit of French there. cricket in the garden. I like oh. a bit of Oh, nice. that's a, that, that sounds idyllic. Yes, it does. Perfect. <laughs> Hugh, what's your, what's your view on a fondue? Well, I, I think you're doing the prizes down a bit because that looks like a top selection. Find it hard to choose between the cricket bat and the fondue set. And that umbrella looks like it would keep out a lot of rain. So I like the brolly. It's a good brolly. Yeah. You guys are good. Can you guys can come again yeah. if you like the prizes? The only person not impressed with the prizes is Jamali. Yeah, like, no, he's absolutely. Like going, I, don't know, I don't know what French cricket is. No. I don't know. <laughs> and I've never had fondue. And I you don't never have fondue? Girl. No. Oh, man, no. you'd love fondue. Oh, fondue. Yeah. It's just either melted cheese or melted chocolate that you dip things in. OK. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah. Lovely to have you all here. So five days of quizzing. Every time I press this buzzer, a new round comes up. You don't know what it's going to be. I never know what it's going to be either. Shall we play our first round mm. on Monday? Yeah. Best of luck, yeah. one and all. Our first round is... Rhyme time. What I'm going to do is ask you two questions at a time. The answers rhyme with each other. Fingers on buzzers, everybody. Oh, gosh. What is the answer slash are the answers to this? Awarded for a foul outside the penalty area in football. And East Enders pub burned down by Phil Mitchell. Yes, you. Free kick. Old Vic. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. Susie. Free kick, Queen Vic. It is, yeah, oh. that's unlucky. <laughs> free kick, free kick. That was slightly too posh an answer, Hugh, for us, the old Vic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, free kick, Queen Vic. Um, next two questions. First UK number one single for Oasis. And French dessert, a burnt cream. Susie. Is it Wonderwall Creme Brule A? Or... <laughs> I mean, it's absolute not, it? full marks for trying. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the burnt cream is, and, and to attempt to rhyme that with Wonderwall was beautiful. Shall I tell you? Yes. Creme Brule, some might say. Oh, oh, some might say. Some might say was their first number one. Some might say Creme Brule, well done if you said that at home. Next two questions. State capital of Arkansas. And what is this? I know what that is. Uh. Uh, yeah, we're all pretty good on half of this, right? Hugh. Is it Little Rock and Shuttlecock? Is absolutely right, Hugh. Yeah. Well done. Ah. Little Rock, Shuttlecock. Uh, here is your next question. Mum wants a bungalow tour, comedian. And translation of the Latin phrase, carpe diem. Susie. Is it Peter K and seize the day? Peter K seize the day. Well done. Well done, it is. Oh, I love Peter yeah. K. That's why I Just knew. beating Jamali to the buzzer there. Well done. Next two questions. Traditional dish of sausages in batter. And what is the title of this song? Well, you never do nothing to save your dog. Toad in the hole, 
Shake, rattle and roll. Oh, yes, oh. it is. Well done. It is right, Hugh. Well done. Totaling the whole shake, rattle and roll. Next question. University Challenge comedy drama film and architect of St Paul's Cathedral. Hugh. Start of a ten, Sir Christopher Wren. Start of a ten, Sir Christopher Wren is the right answer. Well yeah, I don't know. Man. <laughs> Delivered beautifully as well. There's a lot what of action spoon? going on on that <laughs> half. <of it. laughs> we are really battling for who's the worst of this, isn't it? <laughs> and the way he says it as well, like Christopher Wren. I was like, how did he know? Well, I've never heard of Christopher Wren in my life. You've never heard of Christopher Wren? <laughs> yeah, I'm You're not. a Londoner. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm really, I really hate architecture. <laughs> oh, man. You hate it. I mean, literally, you hate it, right? Stop I'm real, designing I'm, buildings. Mate, I'm, we've got enough. <laughs> Yeah, we just do, just yeah. copy some other ones. We don't need yeah, nothing. Exactly. Uh, final question in this round. What is this? And Mozart opera that features the Queen of the Night. Yes, you. Passion fruit, magic flute. Passion fruit, magic flute. Oh, how about that? Nicely done. That's the end of that round. Let's take a look at our first leaderboard, shall we, of the week. Here's how we stand. I'm going to say that was a good round for <laughs> Susie and Hugh. So, Jamali and Jodie, listen. Yes. Just playing it cool early in the week. Bringing up the rear. Just watching. Keeping a watching brief. That's the way to do I it. Want, I want Hugh to get a full <laughs> sense of security. <laughs> yeah, well, right, well come snatch it out of him. Mission accomplished. <laughs> uh, I do. Susie has two. Hugh, our rally leader with four. Well played, Hugh. Oh, dear. Let's play round two, shall we? And today it is... Distinctly average. Now, this is a pairs game. The player in the last place gets to choose their partner. Uh, Jamali and Jodie, you're tied last, but Jamali, uh, who would you like to pair up with in this? Jodie. Game? Yeah, that's what... <laughs> yes! That Come is on. what Britain wanted <laughs> to hear, <laughs> Jamali. What now, if you take doing? the tablets out, please. What are we doing? Uh, what I, well, yeah, let's, uh, let's talk about that. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to ask you a series of questions, and you need to estimate an answer. I will take the average of each pair's answers as their answer. And whichever pair is closest to the real answer gets themselves a point. Let's take a look at your first question. Have a little go at this at home as well. Have an estimate for this. How many games did Wayne Rooney play for Manchester United? Where would you go with that? How many games did Wayne Rooney play for Manchester United? OK, everyone is in. What do you reckon at home on this one? Jamali, what was your thinking and what's your answer? See, what I, I wrote 2,000. See, I know it's more than 2,000, but I was hoping Jody went really, really high and then we would okay. average it out. Do you know what I'm saying now? I hear what you're saying, yeah, yeah. So I think it's more than 2,000, but I thought it would average out, so I went 2,000. So you've gone 2,000. Jody, you've gone <laughs> up or down from 2,000? I've gone slightly lower. OK. Yeah. 650. 650, OK. Your average Jody and Jamali? is 1,325. Susie, what was your thinking here? Well, I feel like I've gone a little too <laughs> on the conservative <laughs> side with 180. 180. I, I wasn't sure. I was thinking, like, six years, maybe seven. Uh, Hugh, up or down from 180? I've gone for 511, just oh. 10 years, 50 games a year, but neither of those things is probably close to being right. <laughs> so your yeah. average, Susie and Hugh, is 345 and a half. He was that was the one when he was sent off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, what have you got at home? Where are you closest to? We've got um, 1,300 or we've got 345. How many games did Wayne Rooney play for Man United and who has got the point? 559. Oh. Susie and Hugh get the point. Close. Jody and Hugh both very close to that one, but well played, Susie and Hugh. 13 years he was there for Wayne Rooney. Yeah, no. um, <laughs> just so close to that 2000. Yeah. Was like, you know, it was yeah. like, just a couple of games off. Yeah, it was touching just the 2000. Yeah. <laughs> um, next question. According to NASA, what is the distance in miles between the sun and the planet Mercury? Wow. Miles. I like that we're trusting NASA. They would have measured it, NASA. And it's an average distance it's because the, it changes the with closest. the orbits. Mercury's not the closest. Mars is closer than Mercury, I think. No. It's pretty close in space, mm. times, distance. Yeah, in space times. So not, not in terms of if you were having no. a weekend away. No. It's a long not. way, but... How yeah. far is, like, London to 
Glasgow. Is, is that, is that could be your <laughs> starting point? Yeah. <laughs> About 650 miles. Okay, because I was going to say 1,000 miles, and that's not... No, no. Because it's not no. London to Glasgow, is it? It'll still no, take you a couple of days. A little bit, a right little bit. Yeah, no. Just, just a tad. Just a bit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> OK, everybody is locked in. What do you think at home on this one? It's a tricky one, isn't it? Susie, what was your thinking and what's th your... My thinking is nothing. I have yeah. absolutely zero idea right. and I've just picked 20 million. Hugh, up or down from 20 million? I thought that millions were the thing mm. and I went for lucky seven. So you've got seven million. So 20 million and seven million. So your average is uh, mm. 13 and a half million miles. Jamali, <laughs> what are you thinking? I did 100,000. OK. But I don't, I don't think that's right. You know? It's more than London to Glasgow, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it that's, is. That's yeah, it's almost, I would say, more than twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More than twice. Um, <laughs> Jodie, just... up, up or down? Uh, up. I've gone 350,000. OK, so we're in the 100,000s and we're in the millions. Yeah. Okay, so your average, Jodie and Jamali, is 225,000. What do you think at home? Let's find out, shall we? Is it 100,000s or is it millions? Who has won the point? Oh. 36 million, <laughs> it is. 36 million. Well done, Susie. Very well played, Susie and Hugh. Final question in this round. In minutes, how long... Do... <laughs> I mean, listen, we're going to get a lot of information here. In minutes, how long does the average UK adult spend on the loo each week? We're actually going to work this one out, are we? In minutes? Mm. In minutes. I'm actually doing oh. maths about... Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You go twice like I've actually a got a little. Yeah. <laughs> we've gone. We've gone toilet maths very early this week on House twice of Games. Twice a day or once a day? It all depends. I mean, it's you know, it's tricky. Isn't but that's it? the average. You know, Ooh. that's the thing. It feels like this answer is not going to be in the millions. <laughs> you know, thirty-six million. Yeah. Uh, everyone is locked in. Um, oh. Jody. So I've gone for a hundred minutes, and then I did a lovely drawing of a loo. Oh, that is... Do you know what? I'm so glad you said it of a loo. <laughs> Until you what? turned it around, I didn't know what the drawing was. About. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. A hundred minutes, says Jodie. Jamali, up or down? Down. I went for 60, slightly down. Jodie and Jamali, with your average is 80 minutes a week okay. on the loo. Wow. I like that. I um, Hugh, what was your thinking? Well, I wonder if this is an age and experience thing. But... <laughs> I've gone for a slightly <laughs> higher number. 207. Yeah. Roughly four hours on the, on the <laughs> Louis. Look, why, I mean, we're going to well, see the A art. lot of people read the paper, yeah. you know, check their emails. <laughs> they aren't in a rush, especially at the weekends. Susie. I um, think I've wrecked our average. I'm sorry. No, I've no gone in a good way, I think. In a very good way. low, because I um, have gone sort of five, thinking five minutes a day and added a few minutes on. I've just... Okay. Beautiful. So your average is 122 and a half minutes. So about two hours. So we've got about an hour and a half or two hours. What do you think at home on this one? What have you gone for? So how long does the average UK adult spend on the loo and which team has got the point? I don't oh, know. Not 189. <gasps> you're close. You, you're very close. Very close. Three hours a week we spend sitting on the loo. That's not That's No. That's... That, yeah, apparently. Very well done if you got close to uh, that three-hour mark at home, if you know what I mean. That's the end of that round. Tablets away, please. Oh, Jamali, we're no, not no, doing we... very well. I love that you were we? a team, though, there. You know what? You went down together. <laughs> yeah, nice. we did. Yeah. Um, let's take a look at what it has done to the scores. Jamali and Jody yet to get off the mark. Susie, you have five. Houston in the lead with seven points. Look at well that. Played. Should we play round three? Yes, go on then. Okay. It is. Internet history. Now, we have our own social media on House of Games. What we're going to do now is show you some people's social media hashtags. Can you tell us which people from history use these hashtags, please? Fingers on buzzers, everyone. So who is this from the hashtags alone? Hashtag right away. Hashtag so socialist. Hashtag down on the farm. Hugh. I think that's George Orwell. Hashtag no Spain, no gain. Hashtag oh, party like oh. in George Orwell. Who is this, please, from the hashtags? Hashtag KV62 for life. Hashtag valley boy. Hashtag yummy mummy. Hashtag tomb raider. 
Yes, Jodie. Angelina Jolie? It is oh. not. So I don't know who it is. Susie. Lara Croft? Is it Lara Croft? Not, is it? It is not either. Should we take a look at the last hashtag? Hashtag walk like an Egyptian. Yes, Jamali. Cleopatra. Is it Cleopatra? <laughs> Whoa. You? Tutankhamun. Is it Tutankhamun? It is. <laughs> Yummy Mummy, who was a man. Ah. His tomb was raided. Bat yeah, Valley of the really Kings. KV62, that's the number of his tomb, apparently. Ah. So there you go. Well done if you got it from that. Well played, Hugh. Yeah. Um, who is this, please? Hashtag am writing. Hashtag goth life. Hashtag ghosted by Byron. Hugh. Mary Shelley. Wow. Hashtag that monster success. Hashtag good. actually, that's the doctor's name. Mary Shelley, the author of Frankenstein. That is just extraordinary. Um, next question. Hashtag there is nothing like a dame. Hashtag the forces with you. Yes, Susie. Is it Vera Lynn? It is yes. Vera Lynn. Well played, Susie. Nicely done. Hashtag top ten at 100. Hashtag over Dover. Hashtag we will meet again. Final question in this round. Who is this? Hashtag Roly Haha with it. Hashtag father of the nation. Hashtag 27 years later. Hashtag A and see what I mean. Yes, Jamali. Nelson Mandela. Is it Nelson Mandela? Oh. Jamali joins the party. Hey! Jamali, Nelson Mandela. Hashtag long walk to freedom. That's his uh, middle name, that, uh, that top one. Um, that's the end of that round. Um, lovely end to the round for Jamali. Let's take a look at our scores with two rounds to go. Jody, yet to get off the mark. <laughs> Jamali is off the mark with one point. Susie, you have six. Hugh Fernley Whittenstall, ten Very points. Fast. Our leader. Congratulations. Here is our next round, and it is. I am not a robot. Now, uh, sometimes we get contestants to do suspiciously well on House of Games, so we have to check if they're a robot or not, OK? And we use exactly the same way you do on the internet, which is you have to spot certain things in a diagram. Uh, if you take out your tablets, please. Jamali, we will start with you. Uh, here is your picture. We need you to prove you're not a robot, please. And the way you can do that is if you can press every square that contains a ball that's worth more than three points, please. So only the squares uh, where the balls are worth more than three points. You happy with that? You win with that? I don't know about happy, but that's what I'm going for. You're locking in? Yeah, yeah. We find out, is Jamali a robot? Is that correct? It is not, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, you've got the brown there, which is worth four, and you've got the blue, which is worth five. You clicked on the yellow and the green, which was worth two and three. Jodie. Right. Right. Here we go. We are going to absolutely smash this. We're going to smash this. And get your point. Yes. OK, <laughs> let's find out if Jodie Kidd is a robot. <laughs> Can you click on, please, the perennials? Are you good with flowers? So-so, uh, but not... I think that one is a perennial. I would love, Jodie, to get a point here if anyone I know, has any information. It's really difficult. Well, I, mean, I mean, I know the, the ones that are coming back every year... Yes, exactly. So that's it. And, so daisies and don't, the iris top left don't. is an iris, and that certainly does. Yeah, it does. It comes back every year? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Let's click and, on that. you've got the that. dafts. Got the dafts, and then... You have to plant sunflowers. Well, do you know what, daisies, they do keep coming back, but, I mean, do, you know, do they come back from die. seed or...? Hmm. You're, you're there or, or super close. And it's camellia top right, and I think they could... I don't know if it's camellia top right. It looks like the sort of thing that's bulby, though, so it probably would come back. So either that one. Do we think that one, the... I love the fact we're all trying I to help them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, Although, like we haven't direction. asked Jamali yet. I think it's a trick question. I think they're all perennials. OK, interesting. No, I don't... Interesting. Yeah. That's it. OK, let's just do it. What do you think at home on this? Do you know your perennials? Jodie, have you proved for a point that you are not a robot? Oh! oh. oh no! Oh, you so literally unlucky. just missed out the daisy. Oh, I tell you, I'm going to give you a point. Always... I think we talked around So it. I'm going to give you... You have proved you're not a robot. So we'll give Jodie a point there. 
Um, Susie, can you prove you're not a robot? I don't know. Okay, here is your picture. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Can you click on any square that contains the deltoids? Andy, the no. deltoids, aren't they here? Mm. Yeah. See, is it that? Is that little bit there on the top left? Is that got a little bit of delta? Yeah. But that's yeah. the that's, that's, the, that's the annoying thing with this on the internet. Is exactly that, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know who knows? Hugh, Hugh. because Hugh always. Knows. Yeah. The, what's bugging me is that tiny little it's overlap slither. in the yeah. middle. I know. Middle left. Do you know square. what? I'm going to go for that. that. Yeah, I think so. I, I I think you should. I'll lock in with that. I think. Yeah. What do you think at home? You locking in with the same thing? Let's take a look. Is Susie Perry a robot? I am. She's a robot. I think that's Oh, harsh. it's all the top. Oh, oh gosh, they're I've got the ones completely... above the shoulder. Oh, well, I'm right above yeah. the shoulder, right? Uh, um, Hugh, are you a robot is the big question of the day. You can prove you are not by um, clicking on the correct squares here. The letters that have a crotch. <laughs> can you click on the letters that have a crotch? <laughs> well, 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 I didn't... <sighs> Expect to be asking you that this early in the week. Mm. Well, I, I literally don't know what a crotch is. No, no, I no don't. idea. Unless it, unless it is the name for the dot above a letter. So if the dot above an I is technically called a crotch, mm. that's the only thing I can think of that that might work. So I'm, and none of them else have got dots. Okay, so that's well, unless the Q's got a crotch, and none of the others, unless the curly bit on the Q's the crotch, that suddenly. Seems a bit more crotch-like, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> um, so you're going to go INJ? I'm, I'm going to stick with first instincts, but the mm. waggly bit on the cue is bugging yeah. me. What do you think at home? Do you know this one? Do you know what a crotch is in this context? Let's find out, shall we? Is Hugh a robot or is he right? He's a robot. Oh. Ah. Uh, a crotch the is the point. So literally, it's like the v uh. bit, the middle bit of a V-shaped bit. It's, it's any point where two pen strokes meet. Gotcha. So K, V and W have them and, and the others. The dot above an I and a J is a tittle. A tittle? I, I, yeah. I got my tittle muddled with my crotch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you hate it when that happens. <laughs> so <laughs> annoying. So em it's so embarrassing, isn't it? Uh, well played, everyone. Tablets away. That is the end of that round. You were all robots apart from... I mean, Jodie, you weren't a robot in the end. I mean, uh, yes. Yeah. Kind of borderline. But everyone... You're borderline robot. <laughs> a cyborg. A cyborg. Everyone else was a, was a straight <laughs> robot. And we have one round to go on Monday's House of Games. Let's take a look at our leaderboard. Jodie and Jamali off the mark with one point each. Susie, you have six. Hugh takes a four-point lead into our final round. Well played, Hugh. Well done, Hugh. And our final round, as always, is... Answer smash. Now, fingers on buzzers, everyone. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. We have seen four-point leads lost many, many times before, but it's a nice lead to have going into this first answer smash of the week. Uh, you'll see a clue, you'll see a picture underneath. Please smash those two answers together. Your first category is... Fictional characters, so those will be the pictures. The clue above, smash it into the picture, please. Here's your first one. Who began hosting the Radio 1 Breakfast Show in 2018? Yes, Susie. Is it Greg James Bond? Greg James Bond. Perfect. Well played, Susie. Nicely done. Greg James will love that, won't he? He will love that. He will love that. Greg James Bond. Next question and next character. What is the most widely spoken language in India? Yes, that is Susie. Hindiana Jones. Hindiana Jones. Well done, Hindi and oh. Indiana Jones. I did say that four-point leads have disappeared a number of times before, Hugh. Oh, yeah. Um, you were very close on that buzzer. Do you want your, I was just checking your, your exasperation? <laughs> yeah, I just raised my hand as well. Was, was Sorry, <laughs> you did both. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. Can't believe you buzzed, and even though he had his hand up. Oh, yeah. I'm so Amazing. sorry. Amazing. Amazing. Right. Um, There's no friends in this game. Here is <laughs> here's your next clue and your next fictional character. Kampala is the capital city of which East African country? Hugh. You Gandalf. You Gandalf? Very good. Well done, it is. You well and Gandalf. You Gandalf. Uh, here's your next category. Accessories. Those will be the, uh, the pictures. 
clue and an accessory. Which 90s sitcom following the lives of sisters Tracy and Sharon was revived in 2014? Yes, Susie. Birds of a feather boa. Well done, Susie. Birds of a feather and feather boa. Here comes Birds of a feather boa. Very good round for Susie so far. Smashing it. Next clue and next picture. Which NFL annual championship game was won by the Kansas City Chiefs in 2020? Yes, Jamali. Super Bowler hat. Super oh, Bowler very hat. Very good. I'll play Jamali. Super Bowler and Bowler hat. Okay. Super Bowler hat. Next clue, next accessory. Which primate, historically known as a pygmy chimpanzee, is native to the forests along the Congo River? Yes, Jamali. Bonobo tie. I'll well play Jamali. Bonobo oh, well and Bonobo tie. Yeah, well um, next category is politicians. In which 2012 comedy film starring Mark Wahlberg and Mila Kunis does Seth MacFarlane voice a talking stuffed bear? Yes, that is Jamali. Um, uh, Ted... Oh, I would have got his Ed Gamble in my head and it's not Ed Gamble, <laughs> is it? Oh, Ed, Ed Gamble gets the head out of my head, curious. man. Um, oh, no, we'll time you out, yeah, Jamali, I'm sorry, afraid. Sorry, sorry. Yes, Susie. Ted Miliband. Ted Miliband. Ted Miliband. That's absolutely right. Ted and Ed Miliband. Ted Miliband. Unlucky to Marley. Next politician. <laughs> <laughs> Monday's House of wow. Games all done. I didn't get it. Uh, a, good, <laughs> <laughs> a good round for Susie there. Very good round for Susie. Good round for Jamali as well. Lost a point at the end, though. Let's take a look. I think we know. Surely, <laughs> with that four-point lead, Susie, oh, a brilliant uh, round from you. Amazing round. But he must have held you off, I think. Our first champion on this week's House of Games is... <laughs> by one Ooh. point, Hugh Fernley Whittingstall. Well played. <laughs> wow, what a comeback, Susie. Blimey, Hugh, you held on. Congratulations. Only you just. Are, uh, only just. I needed another lap. This is... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be competitive all week, is it not? That was really, yes. really impressive stuff. Um, Hugh, you've won yourself a prize. I wonder what you'd like to uh, take home with you. Well, it's got to be the fondue set. Oh, lovely. How on brand can you get Hugh Fernley Wittenstall takes home the House of Games fondue set? <laughs> well played, Hugh. Let's take a look at our first weekly leaderboard. These are the points you're taking through to tomorrow. You've taken the maximum of four there. Susie three, Jamali two, and Jody one. Congratulations. That was a lovely day. Shall we do the same thing again tomorrow? Yeah. Let's okay. No. See so you all here, same time, same place, <laughs> apart from Jody. See so you all here. Uh, we'll see you as well, same time, same place on the House of Games. reckon to our bit of kit it looks very sturdy and it's very generously supplied with dipping forks I think there's eight of them so a party is to be had